Maria, answer me right now if you're awake. Good morning, Kristen. Sorry for missing your calls last night. I went to bed earlier than usual. What's up? We need to talk about your baby. Oh, of course. It's only been a week since I found out about the baby, so I haven't had the chance to tell anybody yet. I'm pregnant. Can you believe it? We're going to have a baby. I know you're excited. I was the same when I got pregnant for the first time. Well, it makes me want to cry just thinking about it. Aw, I know I'm going to love this baby so much. I've already been thinking about baby names, even though we don't know the gender yet. Do you want to hear them? I'd love to have your opinion. Hold on, Maria. You're getting ahead of yourself. Forget about the baby names. You're not keeping it. What? What are you trying to say? When my son told me you were pregnant, I immediately booked an appointment with a psychic. She gave me extremely crucial information about the baby's future. For Christ's sake, Maria, you have to get rid of this baby as soon as possible. What? What could the psychic have possibly said for you to want me to get rid of this baby? I know it's painful for a mother to give up her baby, but it'll only be good for all of us. I promise that you will thank me in the future. No, Kristen! This is not going to happen! Are you out of your mind? How could you ask me to abort a perfectly healthy life? This is your grandchild, and it's only one month old! That's why I'm telling you to do it ASAP before it's too late. It's still just a tiny bean, so the procedure wouldn't be too difficult for you. And then it won't be a big deal anymore. Oh my goodness! That was the cruelest thing you've ever said. Kristen, one month or one day makes no difference. Maybe you find abortions easy, but I don't want to take the life of a fetus growing inside me. Maria, don't freak out, okay? We'll work things out. You're asking me to do an unbelievable request. All because a psychic told you something that they probably made up. Honey, I need you to pull yourself together before we continue this conversation. You're getting emotional. Kristen, you're a mother too. You should be the last person in the world to ask me such a thing. I thought you would be thrilled to hear about your first grandchild. But here you are asking me to kill it. What is wrong with you? Everything happens for a reason. I told you, the psychic gave very promising information. This needs to be done, Maria. Fine, tell me. What is the reason that this is happening? What information did the psychic give you? I've been in touch with the psychic for a long time. She's known for her accurate predictions, and she's never been wrong for me either. Yesterday, right when I walked into her apartment, she immediately felt a bad energy. She said that this new baby would be a jinx for our family, and somebody will end up dead. And? And she said it was most likely going to be me. We need to take this seriously. My life is on the line here. Kristen, I hate to break it to you, but everybody dies. You will die whether or not this baby is born. Don't you dare mock such a clairvoyant being. I know she's right. She's always right. And she said there's a possibility that I could die even before meeting your baby. I can't let that happen to me. Now you're the emotional one. I promise you that you will not die because of my baby. What you need to do now is to see a therapist instead of a psychic. Everything is going to be fine, and we'll both forget about this conversation by tomorrow, okay? Wait, you don't understand, Maria. No matter what you or Johnny says, you will lose the baby in two weeks. I'll make sure of it. Are you threatening me? It's not a threat if you do it yourself. I'm showing you kindness by giving you a chance to get rid of it yourself in a safe way. But if that doesn't happen, I can't promise what I'll do to you. I cannot believe that these words are coming out of your mouth, Kristen. You're out of your mind, and you really need help. You need to realize that having this baby is not an option. You need to listen to me as my daughter-in-law, Maria. Trust that I know what's best for you and your family. Listen. I always respected you despite all of your superstitious beliefs. But what you're saying right now is crossing the line. I hate to do this, but I would rather get a divorce than get rid of my baby. 
It's just not happening, Kristen. Honey, even if you get a divorce, you would still need to get an abortion. It's not about your marriage. It's about me or the baby. And we all know what the answer to that is. Hate to break it to you, Kristen, but I don't care about what your psycho friend said. I'm keeping the baby, and I'm willing to protect it at all costs. Don't you dare say another word about your plans with my baby. You'll regret it. My son won't let you treat his mother like this. I know for sure that he would choose his mother over his unborn child. You just wait until I speak to him. Honey, I cannot spend another second with your mom. What's going on? I'm sorry, but she's literally insane. For the past week, she's been spamming me with propaganda of death and bloody fetuses. She's driving me crazy. And babe, I think she tried to push me down the stairs when she came over a few days ago. Thankfully, I was holding on tight to the railing, but this can't continue. She's trying to get me to have a miscarriage. You have to stop her. Well, I don't know. I'm not sure what I should do in this situation. I mean, she is my mother. I love her, even though she has some strong beliefs. And I love you. And you're carrying my baby. I don't know how to stand between the two women I love the most. I know, honey. But this needs to end. I try to ignore her efforts, but she's getting more and more aggressive. I'm scared every day wondering what Kristen's next plan is. Can you please just ask your mom to stop all of her crazy plans? Can you do that for your wife and your child? Actually, I talked to her this morning when I stopped by my parents' house. And I have an idea. Honey, would you be willing to do them a favor? Where are you going with this? I know you've been an amazing wife and daughter-in-law. My parents love you so much. And since you're only 25, you're still pretty young. Do you think that you're ready to be a mother? Johnny? The easiest way out of the situation is for you to get an abortion. I can't believe you're saying this now, Johnny! Maria, please, let me finish. I'm listening. To be honest, I'm not ready to be a father yet. I saw how happy you were when you found out, so I was just going along with it. But if this baby is causing so much division in our family, I don't think it's worth it. And it's important to me that I get my mom's approval and help with my first child. So please, try to understand this time. I promise that we can try again when we're both ready, okay? Does that sound good? What on earth did they tell you this morning? I wanted you to stand up to your mom, not get on her side! Well, I tried, but it didn't work. And actually, what she was saying made a lot of sense to me. I can't let my only mother die because of a single fetus. My goodness. That's it. You and your family are out of your minds. Babe, please. It's just a fetus. And it will grow up to be a jinx. We can't risk everything on a tiny bean. What if I say no? Are you going to start plotting for my miscarriage? I'm sorry. I don't have a choice. Please forgive me. Well, I guess it's settled then. I'm afraid so. I did not see this coming. My dear husband, who made a vow to take care of me for the rest of my life, is now hurting me mentally and physically. I'm trying to prevent you from getting hurt in the future. Yes, but your mother has already hurt me in many ways. You know what? Fine. As you wish. I'll get an abortion. But I also want to get a divorce. You're really giving up the baby? Oh, thank you, Maria. You're saving my mom's life. You don't even care about getting divorced? <laughs> Insane. I don't know how I got married to a man like you. Maria, these are just my priorities, okay? You have to forgive me. She's my only mother. Well, I'll drive you to the hospital tomorrow, okay? For the abortion. No, I want to do that by myself. Just give me the money for it. For sure. Babe, I'm sorry things didn't work out as you wanted, but God knows that you made the right decision. I don't care anymore. Just transfer the money and get out of my life. Hey, Maria. I heard that you're back in town after five years. Is that true? Who is this? It's Johnny, your ex-husband. Oh, 
Hey, Johnny. Well, you're right. I am back in town. And you have a kid with you? How do you know that? I saw you and a kid passing by the diner this morning when I was eating breakfast. Huh, what a coincidence. Maria, I really hope I'm wrong, but is that my child? We have the same ginger features, so I'm just wondering. I won't lie to you. Yes, Johnny, you are the father. Oh my god, Maria! I thought you got an abortion all those years ago. Of course I didn't. I was just pretending to go through with what you wanted. But the truth is, I never had an abortion. I kept the baby and raised him by myself. So he's my child only, not yours. I cannot believe this. You lied to us. I even sent you money for the abortion. What about the abortion documents you sent us? I forged it all and kept the money for childcare. How dare you lie to us, Maria? Why? I simply made a decision. The only way I could get out of your family was to pretend to get an abortion. But look at us now. I have a kid, and your mom is still breathing. If there's anything that happens to my mother, I'll sue you, Maria. <laughs> sue me for what? For living my own life and making my own decisions? You don't have any solid reasoning to sue me. No. I'll sue you for stealing my money. You didn't use my money for an abortion, as you promised. You are so petty. It's been five years, and we promised to stay away from each other after the divorce. I only made that promise because I thought you had gotten the abortion. So now what? Now that you know the truth about the baby, what are you gonna do? Kill him? I don't know yet, but I bet my mother's friend will know what to do. The psychic, I mean. You're telling me you still believe her, even though your mom should technically be dead right now? I don't totally trust her. The abortion was just an additional preventative measure. Stop sugarcoating it, Johnny. We all know your mom is blindly superstitious. If she wants to buy a new house, she'll go to the psychic. Name her baby, go to the psychic. Decide a wedding date, go to the psychic. She's been letting her psychic rule her and your entire life. She needs to get help. Don't make fun of her way of life. She's perfectly fine. Listen, all I need is for you to bring that kid to my house. I'll bring him to the psychic and take care of it. I don't even want to know what you mean by take care of it. I have no reason to follow your demands. That's my son. No, he's not. You lost custody of this child the day you gave up on us. And FYI, I'm getting married next month, which is why I'm back in town. Once we're married, my husband will become the father of my child, and we'll move far away. Where are you moving to? I'm not telling you. I want you to stay away from me and my son. No, you cannot separate me from my child. You can go marry whoever you want, but the kid needs to stay with his father. The father who wanted to kill him when he was still a fetus? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I know you have nothing but bad intentions with him. Let me be clear, I protected him once, so I can absolutely protect him again from you nutcases. When will you realize that you guys are the jinx, Johnny? I won't let you get away with him. What a shame. You cannot do anything to hurt me now. You don't know where I am or where I'll go, Johnny. Don't be so happy. I'm perfectly capable of keeping track of you. You're so sick. Go away and leave me alone. Maria, how dare you keep the baby? You're trying to get me killed! I'm assuming this is Kristen? Yes, it's your mother-in-law. You mean, ex-mother-in-law. I no longer have any relation to your family. You are harboring my grandchild. You lied to us about everything and ran away. Your grandchild? Oh, Kristen, you're so funny. After forcing me to get an abortion, now you want to call my kid your grandchild. That name is insulting coming from you. Listen, I don't have time to argue with you. After my son told me you two were in town, I immediately met up with my psychic. And you know what she said? The kid renewed himself and is coming back with good luck. So now we need him to make our family wealthy. Maria, you've had him for five years. 
It's only right for him to spend the next five years with his dad. Excuse me? I can't believe you're tossing around this child's future for your selfish whims. It's not just for me. I heard you're getting married soon. You'll be able to make a new family with your new husband and won't have any time for this kid. We'll take him off your hands while you settle in with your new family. My fiancé is incredibly happy to raise this kid with me, Kristen. Unlike you all, he loves me and my child unconditionally. Go find a good luck charm somewhere else. You cannot run away from us for the rest of your life. Nobody is running away from you, Kristen. Then why are you moving to another state? Why don't you stay here in town with us? That way we can both see the kid. Just so you know, I don't make my decisions based on you or your son. I'm living my life as I please. I'm moving because my fiancé's company is getting relocated. Your husband owns a company? Yes, he does. I'm marrying the sweetest, most gentlemanly person there is. He saw me for who I was and wasn't afraid of raising kids with a young woman like your son was. How dare you replace my son so quickly? My flight's about to take off, Kristen. I'm leaving you and your family for good. No! You have to leave your son behind! He needs to stay with us! Maria, get off that plane right now! Goodbye, Kristen. Wherever you go, I will find you, Maria. Uh, how? Oh, I have an idea. Why don't you go ask your psychic where I'm moving to? <laughs> I bet she'll have all the answers. You know what, Maria? I will ask her. And I'll hunt you down and bring that boy home. You need help. Goodbye, Kristen. Forever. I can't believe Kristen actually went back to her psychic to find me. Obviously, there was no way her psychic would know where I was. Kristen never ended up finding me. But during my first month away, I kept getting random messages and calls from an unknown number. After picking up one of the calls, I found out it was Johnny. I think he was jealous that I got married to a man who was way more successful than him. He kept sending me sappy love songs and poems. How ironic. He thought I was too young to have a kid, yet he's the one acting like he's still in high school. Eventually, he got really angry because I never replied to his messages. Instead, I started receiving threatening messages, like, if you don't send me your new address, I'll track you down myself and knock down your door when I get there. But I knew it wouldn't happen because Johnny doesn't have the kind of money or skill to find me. As for me, I finally settled in with my new family. Two months after our wedding, I got pregnant with a baby girl. My new husband was so loving and supportive throughout my pregnancy, and my son loves his sister so much. When my son turned 15, I finally told him the truth about his biological father. I didn't share exact details, but he knows enough to never want to go back to his hometown. Now, I've decided to forget the past and enjoy my life with my new family. For anybody with crazy mother-in-laws, I advise you to leave the relationship when you see the first red flag. The relationship will never be worth all the hurt they will put you through.